Welcome to Mask Monday. You guys are in the future though, because it's not really Monday, I'm cheating. Today's mask is the chocolate mud mask brought to me by Carrie Smith, who sent me a Christmas card along with a bunch of other lovely ladies, which I may or may not have posted that video yet. I'm not sure which day it's going up, but it will be at some point. So today I have a story for you. And it's kind of not my story, but it is. It's my story to tell and I'm gonna tell it. So basically the moral of this story is Tiffany can't keep a secret. Now a secret is different from gossip. If I hear goss, oh my God, this smells like chocolate. Oh. Should I be like just Nina and should I like just... I mean, it doesn't... Don't eat your mask, guys. Don't, don't do it. It doesn't taste awful, but it's not for eating. It's for putting on your face. So, okay, I wanna tell you guys a little story. Now, I can, I'm an observer when it comes to gossip. I don't spread it, I just observe and see what happens, you know, kind of like a TV show. But don't tell me a big secret. I can't, I cannot hold a big secret. So this happened um, over four years ago now. This is before I had Titus. And at that point in time, I thought I might have been pregnant. I was having pregnancy-like symptoms. I was late. I was nauseous, things like that. It's not the first time that I've had a pregnancy scare, if you will. But um, I was a little concerned about it. And I told my mom and she's like, her eyes lit up because she wanted to be a grandma, you know? And she was like, do you want me to go buy you a test? And I'm like, no, I'll do it on my own time. You know, I wasn't that concerned because I'd been there done that before and all that. And she's like, you know, I want to be a grandma. And I'm like, well, you know, you have another daughter. She could probably make you a grandma. And my mom's like, yeah, I don't know about that. And I'm like, I bet. <laughs> so anyways, after that, I went and I, I took a pregnancy test. And as you know, I wasn't pregnant, I don't have kids. I wasn't pregnant. Um, but my mom hadn't, didn't know yet. And she told my sister over the phone. So my mom called me one day while I was in the woods walking my dog, a different dog, this is before Titus. And my mom goes, you need to call your sister, she needs to talk to you. Now, me and my sister, we love each other, don't get me wrong, but we are nine years we have nine years between us and we're not super close. Like we don't just hang out with each other. We don't call each other just to, to BS and stuff. So I knew something was going on or she wanted something, you know, those are the only times that I hear from her on the phone. So I call her and I'm like, what's going on? And she's like, why do you always have to answer the phone like that? And I'm like, yeah, okay, but seriously, what's going on? And she's like, I heard you're pregnant, is that true? And I'm like, no, I took a test, I'm not pregnant. And she sounded so dejected. She was like, oh. And I'm like, why, <laughs> what, what do you care? And she's like, well, I'm pregnant and I was just excited because I thought we could be pregnant together. And after she dropped that bomb on me, she, was, she said those three words that I'll never forget. Don't tell mom. What? I'm sorry, what? You didn't tell mom yet? Okay, so everyone knows, don't tell Tiffany a secret because she can't hold a secret. I'm like, what do you mean don't tell mom? Well, mom doesn't know yet and I'm not ready to tell her. I'm like, but you're ready to tell me? And she's like, well, I thought, I thought you might be pregnant and we could be pregnant together. And I'm like, oh my God. So now I have to hold this seat and mind you, there are two people in this world that I tell everything to. My husband and my mom. And I see my mom every day. So, I think one of the reasons I have so many gray hairs is because of this incident. I had to look at my mom in the face and not tell her that my sister was pregnant. So the day came when my, my sister was ready. There are some details I'm leaving out because they don't know I'm telling you this story. But to be honest, 
it's my story to tell, okay? If they didn't want me to tell this story, I should have never been involved to begin with, right? Because Tiffany can't keep a secret, okay? So this is my story. So I'll keep some, some of the uh, details left out, okay? But the day came where my sister and the baby daddy were ready to tell my mom. And I was also there because she wanted me to be there. In our family, I'm kind of like the buffer, right? So we have this side and this side, and I'm in the middle as like the mediator, right? I always like try to keep the peace, keep the calm, you know, that kind of thing. I'm the buffer. So I'm there, my mom's sitting on the couch, I'm sitting here, and it's a sectional, so my sister's sitting over here and the baby daddy's sitting way over here, right? Because he's scared shitless. You know, he may not admit it, but you know how guys are, you know, you knocked up some, you knocked up your, your woman and you got to face the mom, you know, I get it. So they're sitting around and it's nighttime. Okay. And my mom goes to bed early. So I'm like, they're beating around the bush and I'm like, just tell them, you know, just say it, just rip the bandaid off, you know? And they're not saying anything and it's really awkward. And I'm like, I'm the only one that knows and I can't handle that, you know? I have an ulcer now at this point. I'm like, just tell them, tell my mom, you know? So I could see that uh, they were scared. And I was like, well, I'm here. And if they're, if they're not gonna say anything, I'll say something. Cause in my family, I'm always the one. I am always the one that says something. When nobody else wants to say it, I'll say it. I have, <laughs> I have gotten into family alter, uh, 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 family fights over this, but that's just my nature. And to be fair, everything's fine now. Everyone's made up. The fight that caused a rift between me and some family members, we have since fixed it, right? But my point is, Tiffany doesn't know when to shut up, <laughs> so. I finally said, mom, I'm not pregnant. And my mom goes, yeah, I know, you told me. And I go, no, mom, no, you're not listening. I'm not pregnant. I'm not pregnant. And my mom, you could see it in her eyes, you know, the wheels are turning and she's like, and then realization dawned over her face and she's like, you're pregnant to my sister. And my sister's like, yeah. And I could see the fear in my sister's eyes. I don't know why she was so scared, to be honest, because my mom is a good person. You know, she's, I mean, she's fiery. She's Italian. She's got a hot temper, kind of like me. I think that's where I get it from. But uh, she was so happy. She, you know, they're hugging and they're all happy. And it was just like a big to do about nothing, about nothing. Also, it's not like you can just hide a pregnancy, right? Maybe in the beginning, but eventually, you know, God willing, there's gonna be another human that's just there. I'm sure she'll figure it out when you just bring a human, a little tiny human over. So I don't understand the whole secrecy of pregnancies at all, because yes, in the early stages, it's, you know, you don't know what's gonna happen, but when the baby comes out, it comes out. So, so my mom was super happy and the baby daddy was relieved and they had to leave because they had something to do. So it was like, they came over, I broke the ice, they were congratulating each other. And then that was it. That was the end of it because of me. And I, I felt like a huge elephant was off my back because I had kept that secret. I don't remember for how long I had kept it for, but I'm surprised that I didn't spill the beans earlier is what I'm trying to say. So that was how my mom found out about my sister's first child. If they watch this video and they aren't completely pissed at me, I'll tell you the story about how my mom found out about her second child, which by the way, is also my story to tell because I'm involved yet again. You'd think my sister would learn her lesson, right? But no, no. So next time I'll tell you that story, uh, depending on, you know, you know, I'm gonna tell you anyways, because it's 
my story too and uh there's nothing wrong with it but yeah i don't understand why people like to hide things like that especially when there are things that are gonna come out anyways so that's my story of how we found out about my first niece so stay tuned for part two of that also side note a while ago i believe it was in one of my live videos I had mentioned that I cleaned my bathroom and the bleach had overwhelmed me and I had to leave the house with the bird because birds are highly sensitive to fumes and things like that. Um, I have never experienced that before in my life. I didn't realize I used that much bleach, but it can be dangerous and it burned my throat, it burned my lungs, it burned my nose, my eyes were watering, I had a hard time breathing, I had to go outside. And people were telling me in the comments, you need to be careful. You could like get knocked out, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, yeah, I get it. So I went on Amazon and I found this cleaner. I used it today to clean the bathroom and it is called Clean Smart Daily Surface Cleaner. It says it kills 99.9% .9 of viruses and bacteria. It leaves no, no chemical residue. It breaks down to a saline solution. Of course, this is much more expensive than bleach, but I don't care. I just don't want to hurt myself or anyone else when I clean. If it's on a non-porous surface, to leave it stand for 60 seconds and then wipe it down with a paper towel or a dish towel or something. And this is good for um, E. coli, salmonella, staphylococcus, things like that. Um, this is also good if it's a non-porous surface, you leave it stand for 10 minutes and then wipe it down. You don't have to rinse with this and this will kill uh, E. coli, diff staph, strep, VRE, which is vancomycin resistant enterococcus fa fascia fasci 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 fascialis, fascialis, I don't know, some kind of alice. Um, uh, MRSA, Pseudomonas, Listeria, Herpes, uh, H1, A H1N1, Rhinovirus, which is the cold, um, RSV, which is Respiratory Synctial Virus, <laughs> and other things as well. So it says, breathe easy, no harsh fumes. I don't know if you can read that. It says, destroys listeria, salmonella, E. coli. It says, no rinse required even on food contact surfaces. So I plan to use this in my bathroom, but you can use it in the kitchen. You could use it anywhere. It controls mildew, mold, athlete's foot. It kills, oh, my nose is a cheap. Colds, flus, viruses, things like that. And so I'm really happy with this. It had no scent. Um, uh, um, and I'm very, I got two of these. I think two of them were like $16 or something like that. What I really like about it, other than the fact that there's no fumes is you don't have to rinse it. I do rinse it. I did rinse it in the bathroom. I let it sit for a few minutes while I like did some other things. And then I wiped everything down and I rinsed it and I liked it because it didn't make my cleaning my bathroom uncomfortable for me. And the main ingredient is hypochlorous acid. I don't know anything about hypochlorous acid, but if it says it's going to do all these things then I'm down with it. So anyways, look at this, this mask. I did lay it on pretty thick, but I'm going to wait for it to, um, to dry and then I'll be back and we'll wipe it off and I'll tell you how I feel about it. So I'll be right back. So this is how it looks. <laughs> It's like so tight right here. It smells of chocolate and happiness. And now I want chocolate. But I'm going to go rinse this off and I'll give you my final thoughts. Okay. My face feels good. It feels like I need to put some moisturizer on. But it feels smooth. It feels nice. It feels, it feels clean. Do not get this uh, mask if you are trying to diet and not want to eat chocolate thank you again to carrie for sending me this mask it was very nice of you and thank you guys for listening to my story time and putting up with my weirdness and i'll see you guys next time bye